actors, they create the moments that we all remember. So there's a huge emphasis on that. Like, there's no bad acting coming out of this movie at all. And that was because we planned, like, from casting, we picked people who were going to kill it. Making a film like this, or I guess any film, it's like a giant checklist, right? So uh, you can sit down, you write the script, you get it to a good place, and then you approach producers or you know friends that uh, you believe would be great to make this film with. So that's what I did. I I got Ryan and Craig attached, ready to go. You really got to break it down. You know, you, you okay? You have the script, you got the producers. Now you need people to run the equipment that will capture other people. So you need two groups of people, cast and crew. Imani Kyrie, premier model and talent, auditioning for the role of City Boy. If it wasn't for um, Craig, the assistant director and one of the producers on the film, I wouldn't even be in this position even explaining how I got here because, um, you know, he was the one that reached out to me. It's funny because the, um, <laughs> the day I was going to audition for the film, I got hit on my bike. I got hit by a car and shit. So like, while that was still going on. I'm still thinking like, man, fuck that. I gotta get this audition. I'm trying to work with him. Da, da, da. You know what I'm saying? That's where my was at. So I'm like, fuck that. My mom's like, no, you gotta go to the hospital. I'm like, man, fuck it. Oh well. But ended up turning in that audition that Friday, which is awesome. We got really, really lucky that we chose all these people to work on this with us, and that we have a good enough script to make these people want to like come stay in the middle of the woods for two weeks and be happy about it. As far as casting goes. We uh, hooked up with Scott Sullivan, who's an associate producer, and he set us up online with the casting profiles in the same way as the crew. You know, pe people are out there looking for work, and feature work like this doesn't come along very often. But what initially drew you to working on the film? Um, well, I love the idea that we, we were filming for two weeks straight. I mean, that that's an opportunity... You know, a lot of actors in, in my situation don't don't get. You know, a lot of times you're filming, like I said, on weekends, and and it was really nice to be able to come in a situation where you can be on set for two weeks. You don't have to think about anything else except being an actor. Um, what? Oh, paid. Yeah. Paid feature work like this doesn't come along very often, um, so. People were jumping at it, and we got a lot of submissions online. Danny Kelly, Trooper Shaw. My name is Dallas White, and I'm auditioning for the role of Trooper Bruce. Nice, I'm seeing with a little kitchen. Oh, we used to bump into each other all the time. And Lord knows we can't get closer. Did you still say it then? Hmm? Or was your great, great, great granddaddy still say So to get the actors, um, we had the online stuff and then we had this physical audition in Pittsburgh. If you wanted different accent, like stronger, maybe like European accent, to find out what you feel like. I hated every second. But I provided for my family. I bought it. Left the city with his body and getting rid of it in the middle of the woods. I don't even know the answer. You call us niggas, don't you? I saw the post for Blood on the Leaves and I read the description. I was like, wow, this is, not only does it just seem like it has potential, but if it's as it seems, like if the plot and the story is like as it, as it is verbatim on this post, this is going to be an amazing part, project to be a part of. Every single actor that we hired, even the ones that I wasn't so sure about, absolutely. Oh, it's freaking motorhome, okay. Oh, and a truck. Western Pennsylvania, everybody. Brendan, who ended up being the Rio character, uh, he had auditioned for it, and he was really good, and we were kind of leaning towards maybe him being City Boy. I think the audition was great, but you never know who else is gonna walk in here or whatever. Let me ask you something. I mean, I already, I already know the answer, but... 
You call us niggers, don't you? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. I can read you, country boy. Bet you say it around your friends like it's a joke, right? Elmani like sent in his video audition and it was like, oh, that is, that's the character right there. Like that is what we're looking for. Um, and I think maybe he's been through some similar things and stuff, or at least seen this stuff happen around him. So like he is able to put that into the character in a very, very real way. I went on the website to actually check out what the film was about and what really draw me was just uh, like the storyline. It's a smack in the face and that's kind of where I want to take my my art is to want to smack people in the face. It's just a powerful ass film, like really powerful, man. You know, because you're dealing with things that are really being um, outspoken right now in the media. You know, police brutality. You know, racial um, uh, racial conflicts. I feel like actors really loved the idea of sinking their teeth into something. It was amazing to see this community come out, fellow film lovers who have a you know specific talent that want to be involved in this. Yeah, I think we're good there. Set. Alright, and frame is set. Action! 